Ano nga ba yung dahilan bakit ako nag-decide na mag-vlog sa YouTube? This is Coach Hans. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm just gonna share sa inyo uh, kung bakit ako nag-decide na mag-vlog sa YouTube. So, what forced me <laughs> or what convinced me to actually start doing this uh, sa YouTube? O yung pagbablog. Uh, and of course, before, we, before, before I share that, Uh, click, if you're new to the channel guys don't hesitate to click the subscribe button uh, click nyo na rin yung bell icon and like the, the, the video again we still have the, our 1,000 subscriber giveaway ongoing kapag naka 1,000 subscribers na tayo I'm gonna give away an Adidas Mad Bounce basketball shoe a Starbucks porcelain tumbler and a Remax portable fabric bluetooth speaker ano nga ba yung dahilan <laughs> bakit ako nag-decide na mag-vlog sa YouTube. Uh, well, basically, it started, I think, nung November ata o December. I was really looking into uh, finding another way or another source of income. Uh, as you know, na nag-migrate na yung mga, yung mga anak ko sa America, di ba? So, I was kind of preparing Uh, to eventually go there. And of course, before I go there, parang kailangan ko mag-ipon dito. So, kailangan ko makaipon. Not just nung panggasos namin dito, not just nung panglakad ng mga papeles, but eventually, para pag dumating kami doon, uh, hindi naman kami mukhang kawawa na wala kaming kapera-pera. So, yun. So, that's why I really started looking into other means to earn money. Except, uh, not just yung kung ano man yung trabaho ko ngayon. So parang, I'm trying to maximize yung oras ko para magkaroon pa ako ng other sources of income. So, noong December, I think what I really started looking into was reselling. Uh, I was thinking of doing uh, a reselling business. Uh, most, I started, ang, ang una ko naisip noon was basically, I would resell sneakers, mga rubber shoes, so, sapatos, so Nike, mga ganun, <coughs> Adidas. Uh, although, matagal dati na akong umiikot sa mga uh, outlet stores, uh, but I realized that since I'm doing that, pwede akong bumili ng mga sapatos sa outlet at discounted prices and either sell them Uh, online or just sell them to anyone either at a discounted price as well tubuhan ko lang ng konti or at full price pero parang hulugan or layaway parang ganun kasi una naisip ko yan papabili ako sa mga anak ko sa America tapos papadala sila okay yon. now the problem with that kind of setup is medyo una-una matagal uh, being yung shipping of course and then it's quite expensive then so siguro if if we decide let's say yung magbabalik buy and box sila kailangan mo na mapuno yung balik buy and box bago makapagpadala and i think yung isang balik buy and box is around 300 dollars ata yung yung price or shipping and I'm, i'm not sure so it's gonna take a while and a lot more money put in bago ako makaipon ng or bago makabili at makapuno ng balik buy box na mapapadala nila dito so naisip ko naman yun nga yung sa outlet stores uh, pwede naman so mga kabili ako sa mga 1, 2 or 3 at max uh, because again uh, limitation pa rin doon is yung initial budget or initial capital ko to buy those shoe so ang naisip ko naman ng downside naman noon is hindi ko alam kung gano katagal yung ROI ko or yung return of my investment or return of investment so I can do that pero kailan mabibili so meron pa rin dun that question na ganun uh, so while while doing that while thinking about that nagre-research ako sa basically sa YouTube of course so I'm looking at other people doing reselling uh, not just ng sneakers ah, 
marami marami bagay uh, another thing that we either thought about was setting up a parang fashion page wherein we would resell a, a lot of things pagdating sa fashion uh, kasi yung wife ko medyo magalingan mag, ano eh, magdamit doon ako sa kanya natuto na mag, magdamit ng mukhang tao uh, yun so parang naisip namin na bibili kami we're, we're basically gonna scour the internet and yung mga local stores for uh, anything that we think are fashionable at discounted prices so mabibili namin siya ng discounted prices and then we're gonna resell it ng uh, full price or discounted prices depende so that was my first intention and then kaka research ko sa youtube about reselling uh, syempre napapanood ko din yung mga alam, matagal ko nang alam na may kinikita sa youtube and then napapanood ko yung mga kinikita nila uh, yung mga vloggers and so on and so forth and then I realized while I'm doing the reselling business why not I vlog as well so parang yung journey ko sa reselling vlog ko din kasi meron akong follow sa YouTube uh, na ganun yung ginagawa niya ang primary source of income niya is basically nag re-resell siya uh, pero sa Amazon siya nagbebenta which is hindi naman pwede dito sa atin yan and then binablog niya rin yan yung pag, pagbili niya ng mga items niya paano siya nag resell sa Amazon and so on and so forth so naisip ko pwede yun na gawin ko din kaya yan mag uh, i-vlog ko din kaya yung journey ko sa pagiging reseller So, that's how it started. Uh, basically, nag-start ako mag-vlog pag pumupunta ako sa mga sneaker, sa mga outlet stores. Yun, and then it started. And then, I realized na in, in the event na mag-click nga to, yung pag-vlog ko sa YouTube, ma-monetize ako, this basically can achieve yung ultimate goal ko sa buhay, which is basically earn money not not hindi hindi kailangan maging malaking pera just enough for us to live on but have that have that ability to earn to basically pay for our living expenses and or but i'll have the time for myself parang kumikita ka ng pera pero y- y- hindi ka hindi ka ang tawag dito hindi ka nakakulong sa sa office environment or sa structure or sa sinasabi nilang 8 to 5 job na hindi ka nakatali doon yun I think yun yung pinakamagandang description doon eh. that's my ultimate goal earn money but at, at the same time maging libre ka sa oras yung you still have your yung ikaw pa din yung may hawak ng oras mo that's why I always look into excuse me creating a business or eventually going into business And then, naisip ko, pag nagtayo ako ng physical business, ganun pa din. Sa, sim- sa simula, I would still be tied to that business physically. So, I would still need to spend hours. And then, yun nga, narealize ko sa, vid- sa, sa YouTube pag vlog I can do this. I can earn money by creating those videos. Uh, and, kasi, ang kagandahan dito, I can do it anywhere, anytime. As long as, of course, the 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 setting is convenient for vlogging uh, especially for someone like me kailangan laging maliwanag or there's plenty of light uh, and with minimal expenses for example right now ang setup ko lang sa pagbablog ko is my phone uh, bumili lang ako ng lapel yung ginagamit ko so, yan so, yan ang tag ba yan yung lapel And then, yung tripod na ginagamit ko, hinirang pula sa kapatid ko. Ano pa ba? Yun. And, free yung mga app sa Play Store or App Store na pang-edit. And then, upload lang. Libre lang din naman mag-create ng account sa YouTube. So, yun. I think, I, I, I finally realized that through becoming a YouTube vlogger, I can ultimately achieve yung pangarap ng napakaraming tao which is basically earn money 
and uh, have the have time kasi isa yan sa mga bagay na you can never have plenty more of fixed yung oras natin yung, yung time natin fixed yan it's just always gonna be 24 hours in a day it can never be more than that so yun yung naisip ko and that's why I'm pursuing this and that's why I'm going to be uh, be assertive, aggressive I'm really gonna do this and talagang pagpupursigin kong ma-achieve ko to kasi this is ultimately what I want I really want to have yung time to spend with my family uh, kasi yan yung pinaka parang yung sinabi ko sa inyo sa isang video ko I think yung video ko about my kids uh, isa yun sa mga regrets ko sa buhay uh, yung I did not spend enough time or more time sa pamilya ko I got tied down sa trabaho ko lalo na ngayong uh, hindi na ako nagkukol so I, I'm an officer or a uh, super, hindi naman supervisor but officer sa call center so I spend more time sa office taking care of my agents and I, I really want to actually do more for my kids and I think YouTube can do that for me so yun that is ang, that, that is my reason for actually doing this and maraming maraming salamat sa suporta nyo but I need more of course guys tulungan nyo ako In, uh, invite other friends to subscribe to my channel uh, para maka 1000 na ako and share share my channel, share my video uh, I'm gonna share all the things that I've learned sa buhay uh, para maging successful kayo sa kung ano mang larangan ng pasukan nyo whether pag-vlog, call center or kahit ano pang trabaho yan I'm gonna be there to help you out. I'm gonna share whatever I've learned from almost 20 plus years na pagtatrabaho ko. Uh, tuturo ko sa inyo yun. I'm gonna share the blessings. So that lahat tayo maging successful sa buhay natin. Ma-achieve natin lahat ng short-term goals, mga long-term goals natin. Ma-achieve natin yan. Okay? So, that's my reason behind becoming a YouTube vlogger. So, thank you guys for watching or for staying with me. Uh, again, always remember that being the best is not an achievement. It's a lifestyle. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.